Hello everyone, I'm KB Kwan from TasteAsianFood.com Today, I want to show you how to make Nian Gao So what's Nian Gao? Nian Gao is actually come from two Chinese words which means New Year Cake but it is also the homonyms of a prosperity years and that's why for the Chinese we must have Nian Gao during Chinese New Year and if you want to be prosperous Let's follow me in this video. I'll show you how to make Nian Gao in just 3 hours. Cut the banana leaves into sections. The size should be just suitable to wrap the container. The banana leaf is very brittle and it will break when you fold it. There are two ways to soften the banana leaves. The first method is to blanch the banana leaves in hot water. Alternatively, soften the banana leaves by heating it over a stove. Both methods will make the banana leaves become softer and it will not break easily when it is used to wrap around the mold. Clean the leaf under running water or use a damp cloth, pet dry. Wrap the banana leaves around the outer rim of the mold and insert the remaining part of the leaves into the mold. Press the leaf against the bottom and the inner side. An easy way to do that is to use a smaller container to press the leaves inside the mold against the base and the side. Repeat the same process by adding one or more banana leaves if you want a stronger banana leaves flavor. Secure the position of the leaf by putting a rubber band around the rim of the container. Cut a piece of round shaped leaves with the diameter slightly bigger than the base. Insert and press against the bottom to cover the base completely. When I spoken to my mother-in-law that I'm going to finish it in three hours, she just stared at she just stared at me in disbelief and her jaw dropped. Ah, oh. how can it be done in three hours? I'm going to tell you how it can be done. So let's continue to take a look how to make it in the next step. Cut the pandan leaf into short strips. Add to a pot of boiling water. Let the pandan leaves steep in the hot water for 10 minutes to extract the flavor. Pour through a wire mesh strainer to remove the pandan leaves. Heat the granulated sugar in a pan over low heat. The sugar will slowly form lumps and turn to brown color. This has been cooked for 5 minutes. The majority of the sugar is already liquidized. It turns into a golden brown syrup. Add the hot water into the syrup little bit by little bit because it will boil rapidly and it may hurt you. Keep stirring and add all the water that you need. And remember at this stage, you should switch off your stove. You do need the heat. Keep it aside and let it cool down. Any remaining sugar will eventually dissolve by itself. For those who know how to make Nian Gao, you know that this is not the traditional method. The traditional method is you take the sugar and you mix together with the freshly milled glutinous rice flour. Mix together and steam to and steam for 16 to 20 hours. Now during this prolonged steaming process, the sugar will slowly caramelize and turns into golden brown. And it takes such a long time to change. So in this method that I'm using, I caramelize the sugar first in a pan. That's why I only need three hours to do it. Measure the required amount of glutinous rice flour and put it in a large container. Combine the syrup and the rice flour until it forms a smooth batter.
Let the batter pass through a wire mesh strainer to remove any possible lumps. Pour the Nian Gao mixture into the containers. Cover the containers with aluminum foil. Set up the steaming station. Steam the Nian Gao over medium heat with the lid on for 30 minutes. Then reduce the heat slightly for another one and a half hours. After 2 hours, the Nian Gao is ready. Remove the aluminum foil. Let it cool completely before unmold. To unmold it, fold the excess leaf upward. Pull out the Nian Gao from the mold and cut away the excess leaves. You can just eat it like that or coat with egg and deep fried. Thanks for watching this video and I hope I have explained clear enough how to make the Nian Gao. And don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscription button. And I'll take this opportunity to thank you all your support to my YouTube channel throughout the year. And I will also want to take this opportunity to say Happy prosperous Chinese New Year to all of you in advance. And I'll see you again in another video. Bye-bye.